Hey there, this is Ananya and today we will be doing a project. So today's project is based on three points. Okay, firstly, encryption. That is, we'll be using a key to encrypt a text message. Secondly, we will be nailing this message via Python. And thirdly, we will learn how to decrypt it also. All right, so before we get started, just an important note. I have opened up my Instagram and Facebook pages. So if you want to get in touch or contact me or have any doubts, you can reach me through that and I'll be posting the links in the description area below. All right, so let's get started. For the mail part, that is sending the mail through Python, we have to import or rather say use the SMTP library. It's inbuilt in Python, so we do not have to explicitly import or rather say install it. So what is SMTP? SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. And uh, basically you build an object of this module and then you can go about it. So what you do is, first we'll, I have three functions in my, in my project. That is the mail, the decryption function and the encryption function. Now let's have a look at the email function. So the first thing what you need to do is you have to create a server object. Now this server object will basically call this function smtplib.smtpssl. Okay, this is basically your that takes in two inputs that is the server address and the port number. Now, this is basic for all Gmail accounts, smtp.gmail.com. And next, you have this port number through which it connects. Now, I have 465. Why 465? Because this is a secure connection that takes place. If you were to use 587, that would be insecure. Okay, that's there's no guarantee for that, that everything will be safe. So we will be using 465. So after you passed the server address and the SMTP port number, there are two very simple lines that you need to make sure you have it done correctly. Firstly, you have the login function. So what the login function does is, you basically first give in your mail, and then you type in your password. It takes two parameters. So I've just given a sample mail. And in here, you need to pass your password. Everything within quotes. So server.login. Next, you need to have server.send mail. So what it does is it takes three parameters. Firstly, your mail. Second, your friend's mail. Or rather say your recipient's mail. And thirdly, whatever message you want to pass. Okay, I have given encrypted since that is exactly what I want to mail. Okay, so my mail and my friend's mail, whatever the account name may be. And next you have to close this entire action. So you say server.quit. This is all you have to do to send the mail. Now, one thing you need to make sure before carrying out this function is to go to your account, your Gmail account, and open up your Google info, okay? You have this Google account info section, open that tab. From there, you will have, a, you know, an option saying security. Open that up. And from there, come down here to less secure app access. You need, it's always turned off because so as to stop hackers from accessing your accounts or accessing any mail that you send it is always turned off but for this action that is you that is for sending mails through python you need to turn this on okay so go here and turn this on this being done let's go back to understanding the encryption part we have finished the mail now let's encrypt our message for this i'm going to go and actually give you all a quick hand run of it we'll understand the code here itself so this is my message that i want to send that uh y'all can read what i have my message text and i'm sending it to a friend of mine 
and I want to encrypt this so that nobody else gets to know in the way. Now you always have an encryption key, okay, or a key or a shift value. So the key for encryption and decryption is always the same. As y'all can see here, just a moment. Okay, so the value is three. And now what I've done is I've taken an empty encrypted string. Now my text consists of both spaces and capital letters and small case letters. So that is all I have included in my series, okay? So the series basically consists of all the 26 letters. And what I have done is I have also concatenated to it the upper form that is series dot upper. It'll add all the 26 capital letters also. And it also will add in spaces. This being done, I have my message ready. I have my key ready or rather say value. Now, what is value exactly? Let's say I want to, you have to encrypt it, right? So basically it'll change its form and it'll turn out to be some gibberish language. So what I'm doing is I'm going to shift it by three, okay, to the right. For example, I if I had something like I, I will add some three value to it and change it and modify it to get some new letter. You can take any value you want. It's totally up to you. Now, for I in message, not I, for letter in message. So I'm accessing each character from this message. So first thing what I'll be doing is I'm going to calculate or rather say find which position that letter is in this series. So let me just show that to you all. Okay, I hope you all can view the screen. I hope it's not too small. Now my let's uh, take the first letter I, capital I. Now it will be in, let's say some position. Consider this, for example, it was a small I, okay? It will be easier for me to actually show the example. Now this I is found using the series.find. Now what series.find does is, it basically returns you the integer value of that letter in the series string, the exact integer position of where I lies. If you all can notice, I is actually in the ninth position. So my position value becomes nine. Next, I have the new position that is the encrypted position. So what I say is position plus value, that is by how much I want to shift it. So it becomes 12. Now, if you all can see, I have done 12 mod 53. Why 53? That is quite weird. What the reason is, there are 26 small letters. After that, I have 26 capital letters. That gives me 52. Now, after 52, I have a space also. So I have 53 characters in total. Now, why do I have to do mod 53? Now, in case you access any, any random uh, letter from here and you add the value, let's say uh, this entire string, okay? If we were to find the length of this entire string, let's say, for example, it was something like uh, 70, a random number. Now, when it came to N, and I did N plus 3, okay? Now, N plus 3 becomes 70 plus 3, which gives me 73. Now, 73 is not anywhere in this series. It is beyond the scope of the series. And hence, it would again give me some gibberish character, like, like some ampersand or some exclamation mark, okay? That is not what we want. We want only letters or spaces to be accessed. For that, I need to make sure whatever number is selected is within the number 53. Let's check this out. I have 12 plus, uh, sorry, not 12, 9 plus 3, right? We are doing value plus position. So 9 plus 3 giving me 12. After that, if I do 12 mod 53, it will give me 12 itself, right? 12 mod 53, remainder is always 12. So whatever I do, my number will always be within the range 53. And hence we do mod 53. Now, in case you need a quick 
explanation again. Let me just tell you all. Let's say I have a number 105. Okay. 105. And if I were to maybe let's say that's the value of n or any, any random uh, value, any letter. If I mod or rather say divide this with 53 so as to get the remainder, what do I get? I get 52. So you see, it is always within 52. So we are always on the safe side and we are doing it correctly. After that, what I'm checking here is, now if it is actually a space, I wanted to maintain the space. Okay. So if it's a space, maintain it a space and add the space to the encrypted string. And if it's not a space, simply add whatever letter is there in the series string at the new position that is at the 12th position so basically first it was 9 now it becomes 12 which is the letter l okay so you see i gets replaced with l so this is all about the encryption function this is all you have to do now let's go back now that we are done with encryption we need to decrypt it now the decryption function is exactly the same. All you need to do is, if you were adding it, logically, you need to subtract it, right, to get it back to its original position. So, that's the only difference that we do. Let me make this 53, okay? So, you just subtract the shift value to go back. You were shifting right, now shift left. Pretty logical. And that's it. We, were, we are done. I'll be printing it here so that we can see the decrypted string. Now, when I run this, I'll just uh, quickly comment the mail part because since this is an example mail and password, it's going to give me an error. But I'll be showing you all the screenshot of how the entire look is like. So this is my mail that I sent to myself. You all can see I have sent it to me and you have uh, the encrypted string visible there. So when I open it up, this is my page and my friend has received my encrypted string. Okay, so this is how it looks pretty nice. Now, coming back, let's run this. I have commented this. Let's see if it all works fine. Okay, so you see this is my encrypted string and there you go. It has been decrypted beautifully, perfectly without any error. Okay, I knew it was friendship at first sight when I knew we were the same kind of crazy about Python. Okay, so this is all about decryption, encryption and sending a mail via Python. Now, one important thing that you need to do is immediately after you have sent your secret mail, go back to your accounts. You will have the less secure access app tab open for you. From there, you can see it is on now, right? It's on. Quickly switch it off without fail okay you don't want hackers accessing your mail and that's it we are done i hope you all enjoyed this project and i'll be coming up with something interesting again bye bye i'll see you all soon